Merry Christmas to you and to all your loved ones. May the star of Bethlehem bless you today and in the years to come. Be blessed. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Beloved in Christ, today is Christmas. Jesus is born in our hearts, in our homes and families. So welcome to today's reflection whose readings are taken from Isaiah chapter 52. Hebrew chapter 1 and John chapter 1. By the way, I am Father Michel Manga, a Divine Word missionary studying sacred scripture in Rome. Dear people of God, today's theme is God with His people forever. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah announces the time of good news for God's people. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, who brings good tidings, who proclaims salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. In fact, for decades the remnant had suffered in a foreign country without an altar or a priesthood. So the defeat of Babylon by Cyrus was certainly good news to the Jews because it meant freedom for the captives as we read in Isaiah 49 and 41 27 they could now return to their land rebuild the temple and restore their God-given ministry the remnant prayed for God's holy arm to work and he answered their prayer Isaiah sees beauty in the wake of proclaiming God's word to his people. The expression beautiful feet means pa partnership with God for the salvation of men. Partnership shown in their activity, in their commitment and progress to announce that God reigns in the lives of people. Where God reigns, peace reigns. Where God reigns, glad tidings reign. Where God reigns, salvation reigns. The good news we share today is that Jesus Christ, through his birth, has fulfilled in a splendorous way this prophecy. He is born in our world to set prisoners free and to announce to all of us that we can from now on share God's life as Colossians 1.13 says, He has delivered us out of the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of His beloved Son. No wonder, Christmas is a time for joy and singing the glory of God revealed in the coming of the Messiah in our humanity. In the Gospel, John, through his prologue, that is John 1, 1 to 18, reveals to us that this Jesus who is born today is indeed God, who has come to fix his tent in our midst so that he can share in our life and we too in his life. This prologue, in fact, is not merely an introduction to the Gospel of John, but a summary of the entire book. John tells us who exactly is Jesus Christ and why we should celebrate his coming into our world. Jesus is the word through whom all things came into existence and he is the source of all good. This means that if we exist, it is because of him. Consequently, if we want to have a meaningful life, we must accept him in all the sectors of our life and take the direction that he shows us. Match us our words, reveal to others our hearts and minds. So Jesus Christ is God's word to reveal his heart and mind to us. According to Hebrew 1, 1 to 3, Jesus Christ is God's last word to mankind, for he is the climax of divine revelation. John wants us to understand that through Jesus Christ, God is really present in human history. 
and to those who receive him, he gives power to become children of God. This power is the light of his word that shows us the ways of eternity. Beloved in Christ, the light is still shining today. Have you personally received the infant Jesus, the true light? Do you experience the power of Jesus Christ in your life that makes you a child of God? The good news is that you are a child of God. Open your heart and your mind to this grace so that the light shines forever in your life. God bless you and Merry Christmas.